Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be going over some of the best trading tips and best trading advice for new traders and I've not seen a beginner's video for traders after the two day holding update for Roblox which is absolutely huge for trading. So I thought I'd help you smaller traders and beginning traders with making profit with this new update. All right, so first things first, do not get small projecteds. Like if you see a projected egg for like 1.5K, it's gonna automatically go down before you could be able to trade it. If you're going to get projecteds and flip them, which is perfectly fine, they have to have a low amount of copies and a low amount of copies in circulation. And plus you have to see what it's selling for. If they're selling way, way under wrap, it's not worth getting, but they're just selling a little bit under wrap, then it's definitely worth trying to get it and trying to flip it once the holding period is up. Now, all items have proofs, pretty much, even like smaller items like legit. So if you are a trader with at least 5k plus, you have to look at proofs, and they are very, very important in trading. Probably the most important thing for anyone with at least 5k value. You could see them in the Rolling Mons Discord server. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Rolling Mons Discord server, but if you want to make profit, you have to use proofs, and you have to use the Rolling Mons Discord server or else you're better off just not trading at all. Now, as a beginning trader, you might not know a lot about trading. Even with this video, you're still gonna be unsure with trades, especially like inbounds that you're not sure of. So I would go into Discord servers for trading and contact trade helpers or just talk in like trading lounge and rolly months or whatever you want so you can get some advice on your trades. Don't go spamming these trade advisors as they do have lives, but if you're like 50-50 on a trade, I would 100% go ask someone that is more knowledgeable than you. I do not think you should trade with any less than 5k value. My reason why is because with a two day holding period, if you have under 5k value, say you have like five items of 500 value, then it's going to be almost impossible to make a good profit unless you have a, like a certain decent starting base amount. A year ago, I would have said you could start with any amount and make profit, but now with the two day holding period, you need at least 5K to even have a chance at making some decent profit. Now, some of you guys might be asking how you could even get to 5K in the first place. Well, yeah, you could obviously spend money, but if you don't want to spend money, you could do like GFX or commissions so you could get those Robux and then once you hit 5k or 6k, whatever amount you want to start with, then you should start trading. The easiest way to make profit right now is through like smaller demand items like legit, space hair, neon green beautiful hair, and more items like that. Just because they're wanted by smaller traders and they're, since they have so many owners, you could get a big overpay in them. Big overpay being like a 1.5k overpay and you could easily get it for like a 600 overpay. Since there's just so many owners, some of them aren't as good at trading. When you're a smaller trader, you wanna go for items with more owners because it makes it easier to flip these items for profit. And now that leads us into my next part, flipping items. So you need demand items for this specifically, but you could get an item, get it for say a 1000 overpay, then trade it off for 1.5K overpay, then get it back for an 800 overpay, then trade it off for a 1.3k overpay and you just keep on using that same item or items very similar to it to make profit and then eventually from that profit you could trade up into another item so say you have a 10k item you flip it make 6k from it and now you have a 10k and a 6k item then you could upgrade into a 15k item and start flipping with that that was my best way to make profit when i was below 400k value but really this method will be profitable with any demand items really. I'm personally a rare trader, I don't like demand, but for smaller traders, anyone with under 400k, this is by far the best method. Especially when you can't afford to get bigger items, you could easily just make quick, easy profit from this, and it doesn't take a long time. Since you're using demand, people are going to want your items. Now, a big thing for beginners is that they have trouble getting offers on their items or finding people to send them trades. Now some ways that you could easily get trades or inbounds on your items would be to make trade ads for your items, either on Rolly Mons or RBLX Trade. Rolly Mons will probably get you more people, but I would use both websites. Now you could also look at trade ads for your items and just send people trades, especially if you have demand. 
where you're not worried about someone proofing you because there are just so many proofs of demand, I would 100% just send out a ton of trades. Trade Hangout, I'm not a big fan of. I know a lot of people use Trade Hangout. I very, very rarely use Trade Hangout. I probably haven't used Trade Hangout in the last year and a half to actually make trades. Everyone in that game is AFK, and to be honest, I'd rather use smaller Discord servers with 100 users in them than use Trade Hangout. Now, one thing I see beginning traders doing that I very much do not like is that they settle for a little bit of profit. An example of this would be they get legit for a 400 overpay, then someone sends them a 500 overpay with, say, the exact same items, and they instantly take it. My biggest thing is to always get a little bit of extra profit if possible. As a bigger trader for me now, it doesn't really matter, but for smaller traders with 10, 20K value, that little bit of profit will add up and it will make up a decent percentage of your value. So say you get this 500 inbound, that's automatically a 100 profit. Now what I would do is I would leave that inbound, send that person a new trade, have them add a small item that's worth like 400 or have them add like 400 Robux and let them counter back. Most likely, if they sent you a trade, that means they think it's a win for them. Nobody's gonna send you a trade if they think they're losing. So that means if they really want this trade that they're sending you an inbound, that means they just really want your item and that means you could fish out an extra 100, 200 Robux from them. If you fish out an extra 100 Robux profit and you make 200 Robux profit instead of 100 on every trade, you're gonna end up making so much more by like the end of the month. It's crazy, you'll make an extra 5K easily. Now with this holding period, try to upgrade, but don't upgrade too much because since there's a holding period, if you have one item, you will not be able to trade for two days. So always have at least two to three items so you can make trades daily or like one day you can make a trade, then the next day, then the next day. You don't wanna have to wait two days to make a trade. Now with this holding period, trading probably isn't the best way to make Robux, but say you're an established developer or you've done commissions, you have 100K Robux sitting on the side, wait till Headless comes out, snipe items for good deals, 25% deals, have 140K value and start trading. If you have over 100K value, it's too easy to make profit. I'm a trade advisor in some Discord servers and I see people with like 80 Robux ask me, if they should start trading and like tips for trading. And I just say, don't trade, do like GFX commissions or something else. I would not waste your time with trading if you have under 5K value. I'm just being honest. I love trading, I wanna see the community grow, but it's just pointless to trade with under at least three, 4K value, at least. So just to conclude, three best ways to make profit as a smaller trader, flipping demand items, projected flipping low copy projecteds and trying to fish out some extra robux from inbounds so you can make some slight extra profit but yeah that's it i hope this helped you guys and i'm out